Hello and welcome. When discussing Terminator Genesis, there are several key years you need to keep in mind. Ready? 1965, 1973, 1984, 1985, 1995, 1997, 2004, 2007, 2017, 2029, and 2032. You got it? Let's begin. Hello, young man. Why, that's a mighty big life preserver you're wearing. I'm Scientist Man, and I heard you have some questions about the new film, Terminator Genesis. Nineteen sixty-five. That's the year Sarah Connor was born. Then we have 1984. That's when the first Terminator showed up to kill Sarah Connor, when she was 19 years old. Oh, okay, so she's 19 in 1984. But I thought in Terminator 3, they say she was born in 1959. Uh, let's move on. Our next stop in our timeline is 1985. That's when John Connor was born. All the way to the events. Uh, uh. So 1984 is when the original Terminator was sent back in time to kill Sarah Connor, right? Correct. Okay. Now I've seen the trailers for the new movie, and Arnold's old. It's 1984, but he's, why is he old? Well, there's actually three Arnolds in the new movie. There's digital Arnold, 1984 Arnold, there's middle-aged Arnold in 1984, and then there's old Arnold in 2017. See. In 1974, someone sent a liquid Terminator back to kill nine-year-old Sarah Connor for some reason. And then someone, presumably the Resistance, sent a Terminator, the T-800 model, back to protect Sarah in 1974. So, okay, so uh, the, the T-800 that befriended Sarah Connor as a kid killed the Terminator that was sent from the future to 1984. Well, technically, Sarah Connor killed that Terminator. He just beat him up. Sarah Connor shot him in the heart with a big, big gun. Okay, so they killed him. So wouldn't that stop everything from happening? That's what they were trying to accomplish in the first movie anyway. I'm sorry, next question. Okay, and you mentioned something about 2017, right? Well, in 1984, since 1974, uh, T-800 Arnold fr from 1974 had been building a time machine so that time machine. Sarah Connor could travel to 1997, which was the original date of Judgment Day before it changed to 2017. This is that, the original that, date of Judgment Day. Th yeah, but that shouldn't be where a timeline starts, uh, really. Uh, that, 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 uh, that, that would be an alternate timeline, so may maybe Maybe you should use green for this. Well, but no, this is the original time uh, right here. I, I guess it continues on. It's continuing from there. Okay. So, so 90, 1997 is Judgment Day. Yeah, or the original Judgment Day, but now everything's changed but then, ever since. Well, but 1995 is when they stop Judgment Day, right? right? Right, yes. And Judgment Day gets pushed pushed back or pushed forward, whichever way you want to look at it, to 2017. One of the key factors is, is that John Connor becomes a digital robot. Wait, what? Judgment Day has now been moved to 2017. That's right. Well, the events of uh, 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 Terminator 2 and 3 have, have been erased from time. Okay, so those movies are pointless. Uh, so they travel from 1984 to 2017. Um, yes, even though Sarah Connor wants to go to 1997. But Kyle Reese tells her no, because while he was being traveled back through time, uh, something called a T-5000, which is the living embodiment of Skynet, grabs John Connor, puts digitalness into his face, which turns him into a T-3000. And that disrupts the timeline, which causes Kyle Reese to have memories from the timeline that didn't exist before. What year did John Connor get turned into a robot? That would be 2029, like, like most timelines. Uh, Ar Arnold, from the third one, kills John Connor in 2032. I killed you. Oh my God. And that's the, the last date that we need to remember. 2032. 2032. That's, yeah, make that blue, because that doesn't happen now. No, it doesn't happen. It doesn't matter, really. We could also erase the timeline of Claire Dane's career, because once she appeared in Terminator 3, it ceased to exist. This is the stuff we use to chemically neuter dogs. <laughs> so we, we travel, uh, they know the date of Judgment Day in 2017, right? What? So I'm assuming they go back, you know, 
a week, a month before it happens. No, actually, even though they have a time machine, they go back just a few hours before it starts, leaving them very little time to prepare. Talk to the hand. Do you have any more questions, little boy? One thing to keep in mind, sir, is that everyone has a time machine. John Connor in 2017 has a time machine. Arnold has two, a time machine in 1984. Skynet has a time machine in 2029 and... Oh my God, so Skynet is gonna send a robot back to 1984? No, I'm not... Gonna... I'm not saying that at all. Oh my God, what are you saying? I'm saying the resistance at some point. Once why, are you, they, why is it in 1995? I'm just writing on the outside of the circle. Oh, this okay. Is, this is just extra room I have to write. Okay. Listen, so because the resistance screwed up the whole timeline, and now Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese are in 2017, they have John Connor and he could grow up to look just like Edward Furlong. No. Uh, uh, so the resistance is going to kidnap Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese send them back to 1984, erase their memories, and have them fall in love, meet up in a shady hotel room, and have sex at the exact time and second that they did before, even down to the exact moment that Kyle Reese ejaculated, and thus create the exact same John Connor down to the very sperm and very egg that were used. Is that the sperm and the egg? No, uh, that's a little worm crawling into an apple. Okay. I, it's unrelated. Well, in the new movie, if, if Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese stay in 2017, then John Connor's not gonna be born, so then the future resistance would not even know about John Connor, so they wouldn't even think to send uh, a future Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese back in time. Skynet, since they failed in killing Sarah Connor in 1974, should have just sent another T-1000 back to 1973. Or fuck it, just send a T-1000 back to when she was an infant. You know how fucking defenseless babies are? So Skynet attempts to kill Sarah Connor in 1974. Correct. Uh, a Terminator attempts to kill Sarah Connor in 1984. They attempt to kill John Connor in 1995. Correct. And they failed every single time. For being called Terminators, they're not very good at terminating people. They're, they're uh, trianators. All of your questions have been great. So, Doctor Who in 2029. What? Sends robot John Connor. I don't know who you're talking about when you say Doctor Who. Can you refer to him by his proper name? The T5000, the living embodiment of Skynet Cyberdyne. So when Matt Smith sends John Connor, robot John Connor from 2029 to 2017. What? Uh, why, why does he do that? It's because the T-5000 is aware that the resistance might win. So he sends a uh, zombie robot John Connor, the T-3000, such a stupid name, back through time, not to 2017, to probably, I don't know, 2014? to develop uh, uh, Cyberdyne Industries, which works on three things, making a mimetic polyalloy, liquid people. So the T-5000 in this timeline, What? Uh, he knows the Judgment Day is not going to happen. I think so. So he sends a robot back to somewhere around John here. John Connor, not just a robot. He sends John Connor robot somewhere in here. The T-3000. To make sure that, so it's the same sort of causality loop like what we but had John in the first Connor one wants John to create, Connor sending. For no reason, a memetic polyalloy, which is like the most fucking amazing thing, a time machine and an operating system. Do you think John Connor himself, being a T-3000, could just like into a computer system and launch nuclear bombs. For, for a scientist, you sound very biased on your opinions on all this. Well, you know, I, I have to be honest with you, I root for Skynet when I watch these movies, mainly because I just want to see a bunch of bad actors get burned up in a nuclear fire. I think that's it. I mean, do you have any more questions? Well, not so much questions. I'm just kind of thinking about what they're going to do with the next movie because in this one it ends with with Kyle Reese and Sarah Connor they're in 2017 but they need a time machine to go back to 1984 to ensure that John Connor is born um, and I'm guessing if they do that then you know the events of the second movie and the third movie those are going to happen again right and we're just going to reset the timeline we're just going to reset the whole thing uh, in which case there is no 
uh, Doctor Who in the future. There is no robot John Connor back here. We're just going to reset all of those items and put everything back into place, uh, in which case that there will not need to be a Terminator sent back to 1960, or to 1974, pardon uh, me. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Can you repeat all that? Well, one of the real things that's going to happen in the next film is um, John Connor is going to send himself, not as a robot, back in time to 1965 to replace Ringo Starr and the Beatles. Like, fuck it, that's what I would do. I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. Copyright Beatles. Well, I, I, think, I think what they alluded to at the end of uh, Terminator Genesis is that Cyberdyne is starting up again. Um, that's when a robot from the future... Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese. And they're living happily in 2017 with their manservant Pops. Okay. They're going to be pregnant, but it's going to be with a girl. And then she's going to be the leader of the human resistance in the future. They're going to put a twist on things. Joan Connor? Joan Connor. So, John Connor's still alive. Robot John Connor. Zombie robot John Connor's still alive. 20, let's say 2039. It's 2039. Okay. The, robot, the war starts because John Connor, John Connor is in restarting Cyberdyne Industries and launching nuclear missiles and creating a robot nightmare world that exists in 2039 and the leader of the future human resistance. So to kill both they Sarah Connor back and Kyle and another Terminator, and Pops, who is now 93 years old, a T1 billion, T1 billion mimetic polyalloy nuclear fusion monster that is as big as the sun. And this mimetic polyalloy nuclear fusion monster can devour whole planets. And then uh, everybody shoots at it with a gun. Do you have any other questions? I mean, I'm sure you have a lot. This is speculation, but it's definitely going to happen. Okay, okay. At some point, John Connor takes a sports almanac and starts betting on horse races and, and making gambling bets on sports teams, and he becomes the most wealthiest man in America. No, 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 no. you're confusing that with a different uh, franchise. What? You're talking about the Indiana Jones series. Ow! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck!